friends and family. I'm a survivor and thriver here. Guys, this is another update of my baby chicks. They're um, three weeks old now. And um, I just wanted to show you a little, little something that I'm doing since they're still in their brutal box. I'm going to give them like maybe another week and then I'm going to be putting them outside. Um, but while they're in here, this is what I do to keep the smell down. Okay. As you can see, they're in their brooder box. And I have a box, I'm sorry, a bag of uh, pine shavings in here. This is the medium size pound, um, pine shavings. And what I do is when the brooder box starts smelling a little awful, <laughs> I go ahead on and scoop out the um, pine shavings from the bag into the brooder box and it smells nice and fresh and I don't have to worry about all of the, the bad smells coming from the brooder box which if you if you're raising chickens or quail or anything and they have to go into the brooder box you know that that's a challenge if the brooder box is inside of your house or a dwelling that has, you know, that contains the smell. Alright, so I just want to give you a little shot of, um, of one of them to show you how big they've gotten. Look at this, guys. My chicks are getting huge and their feathers are changing colors. They're barred rock chicks. Alright, so they're changing colors they're getting big and they're about to go outside pretty soon so this is what I do I take the pine shavings and I see poop I see droppings in certain areas in there and all I do is put some pine shavings down on top of where I see poop okay and they're scary so they'll move out of the way you don't have to worry about that and these two tools here are very helpful to use when scooping it out of this bag here so let me show you a little give you a little peek here so whoops I dropped it <laughs> so what I do is it's still in the bag and it's still in the I put it in the plastic bag here so what I do is I fluff up I fluff up the um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna bring the camera down a little so I fluff it up in here into this big scoop like so and from here you know the rest. I just put it inside of the brutal box. So, the first day I had my baby chick, I had a, a heat lamp over there in that corner of the brutal box. And I went out and got that heat lamp because my heat warmer didn't arrive yet. So, I didn't want the baby chicks to be suffering and not have enough heat on them. So the next day, my heat warmer came in. And that's what I used instead of the heat lamp. I didn't want any accidents. You know, you hear horror stories of people, barns and houses burning down because the heat lamp fell into the um, pine shavings. And I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have any accidents here. <laughs> So this is my little setup. This is what I've been doing. And um, it's working out great. They love that heat warmer. And so what I'm going to do is what you can do is raise the legs on it and make it taller to accommodate them as they age, as they get taller. So that's what I've been doing. And um, that's all there is to it. So um, I'm excited to get these guys outside because, you know, I know that they'll have a much better time being outside pecking the grass you know finding worms and doing all of that kind of thing that chickens like to do so that's my setup 
I don't have a, a water or a feeder in there right now because I was putting the um, pine shavings in there. But of course, you know that I have that for, the, for them. And I ordered 12. I ordered two roosters and 10 hens. And they've all survived. They no, I have no issues with any of them dying or being injured or um, anything. I do hear some um, screaming going on sometimes and sounds like somebody's in a fight. So I'm pretty sure that there's a bully amongst them. <laughs> but which one? I don't know yet. But you know, I will give you guys updates on everything. And... Um, you know tell you what's going on with them hopefully they'll all survive and i'll get 10 eggs a day for my hens and my roosters will be fine too but of course i will give you all updates all right so you know how it goes guys if you want to be like me i'm a survivor and thriver out <laughs>